Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. So, just got the bus to um, here. Well folks, the footpath is closed. I'm not sure why, but there's something here. If you wanna, I don't, I don't know if you can read that. If you wanna pause it and read it, I'm trying to focus in on it. Hopefully you can pause it and read it. There's a red squirrel ranger. Well folks, I'm now in Dufton on the Pennine Way. The last time I <coughs> did this bit of the Pennine Way is back in 2015 when I walked the length of Britain on the end to end trail, John O'Groats to Land's End and I come down hike up Nick and uh, when I first did this area on doing the Pennine Way on its own I did it back in 2012 and I believe I was coming down hike up Nick to see the YHA still there I thought it would have gone there's a sign saying YHA that was here back in 2012 and 2015 I believe definitely here in 2015 I think there used to be a shop here but I believe it's gone oh actually having said that looks like there's something open here could be a shop looks like it's still got the pub the stag inn's still there I'm sure something was closing down in this village I read yeah, I had a drink and uh, some burgers in there when I was doing John O'Groats to Land's End and I stopped here. It's the only place I could get some food when I was here in 2015, I think. Some information here. I don't know if this was here when I was last here. Dufton Book Exchange. So there's some information about the uh, Pennine Way. Um, and then there's some information about uh, Dufton here. Some more information if you'd like to pause it. Looks like an old chapel. Yeah, some kind of chapel. Can't remember this, but apparently it's an army training area. But the red flag's down at the moment, thankfully. There's some information about it here if you want to pause it and read about it. There's some um, telephone information there. But yeah, this is the Pennine Way going up the hike up Nick which is three and a half miles according to this seeded <laughs> the long walk up actually it's a short walk up just a bit steep in places I think if I remember rightly still going up up <laughs> I can't even see hype cup Nick yet I thought I did but bear in mind it's a while since I've been up here this is the Pennine Way all of it today in this episode from now on it's the uh, Pennine Way. That's interesting. No dogs allowed on open access land.
here. Well, it's obvious where I'm camping really, isn't it? Uh, actually, I won't even say on here, but well, it's obvious where I'm camping. It should have been walking, but I just won't say. But it's bloody obvious anyway. Um, so I've got my tarp set up. I just realised I haven't got any water. I can't be bothered to go and get water at the moment. I've got a pie to eat anyway and some bananas. I'll probably have my pop noodle in the morning. I was kind of looking forward to the pop noodle. But I, I just really can't be asked to um, do any water filtering at the moment. So I'm um, probably going to have my pie, banana, uh, blueberries, and then uh, go to sleep. I've got some snacks if I really need any. Like I've got, I've got some... Um, What's it? Dry, what do you call it? Dried meat? Oh, I can't, you know what I mean. Beef, dried beef. It's totally dry. Beef jerky, that's it. Good morning, folks. Well, it was a really nice sleep. Probably one of the best sleeps since I've been in, been away this time. Um, so, I got a good star lapse last night. I got some good drone footage. Um, I've really enjoyed walking up here again. I think it's the third time I've been up here. I've been thinking about it. I could have tried coming up here for a day before but it was uh, really bad weather like really windy so I didn't really get any photos done. I'm not sure to be honest. I've definitely been up here twice before this. As I said on the um, end-to-end -end trail, John O'Groats to Land's End and it in the Pennine Way on its own. On this episode, um, rather than putting my end-to-end -end trail photo slideshow, I'm going to um, put, because uh, I've already done that in a separate uh, slideshow video, I'm going to put up um, a slideshow of when I did the Pennine Way um, at the end of this video for you guys to enjoy. Right, I'm going to get this uh, uh, tarp and bivy packed away. So that's me all packed away, ready to go. No trace left, all the rubbish has been picked up and be put in the nearest recycling or bin. Right, I'll be on my way. Oh. Oh, and I'm gonna be walking back down the way I came up, but going back at the end, slightly different way to a different town. Uh, but I'll be following back down the Pennine way I came up. So, almost to, uh, uh, this is up, by the way, this track, I'm off the Pennine Way now. This track is called a Pennine Way Journey, I believe. Might be an interesting track to look at and have a look at it later on. But um, I'm heading towards Appleby on the Moor, I think it's called. Guys, this is my rubbish going in the bin. This this bag's had it, so it's going in the bin with all the rubbish. Oh, it's good to get rid of that. So I'm at Appleby train station. I'm going to catch a bus back in the town, but I just thought I'd take a look at it. Just went in the shelter. It's actually got its shelters open, which is unusual for a small train station. It's even got plugs in there, but they won't work. And I did check. Um, there's a shelter on the other side as well. They might be working on the other side, but to be honest, I'm just gonna go straight into the town because I can charge up my stuff in the library in Penrith anyway. 
this is Appleby, Appleby in Westmoreland. It's a lovely little village or town. I think it's a little town. Church in Appleby. Yeah, if you want to come to Appleby on the moor or the other place I started from. It's bus number 563 stagecoach from Penrith. Or you can get the uh, train from Carlisle. Back in 2012, I walked the entire Pennine Way. And this slideshow is from when I did that. I've picked out a few of the uh, photos from that trail for you to enjoy. It also forms part of the John O'Groats to Land's End end-to-end -end trail which I did back in 2015, all in one go, all by foot, uh, even walking around rivers and estuaries, no boats, no cars, no bikes, no trains, no buses, all by foot. It worked out almost twice the length of Britain. I'll put a link on this video and in the description for the wild camping spots I did on the end-to-end -end trail John O'Groats to Land's End. Enjoy my slideshow of the Pennine Way. Mm -hmm. 